Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Input Quantize and how to use it in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here that has a drum machine already set up in our effects. If we go over here, we can see it. I'm using four different versions of Resample-Matic 5000 to give me a kick sound, a snare sound, and two hi-hats. So I want to record my part using MIDI. Now normally, if you want to quantize it, to put it right on the grid, this is how you do it. As you can tell, that was very sloppy. So if you want it perfect or quantized, we could double click it to go to the MIDI editor right here, and we could quantize it there. We go to this button here, the quantize button. We choose our grid, which we used eighth notes, choose all notes, or just selected notes, and position, or position note end, note length. But for drums, we would just use position, and then hit OK, and our drums will be quantized. Perfectly on the grid. But there are times you don't want to do it afterwards. You already know what you want to quantize it to, and you want to save that step. So we could do that in Reaper using input quantize. So let's delete this, and let's start again. This time, we're going to go right over here and right click it. And down over here, we could choose track recording settings, input quantize, format, etc. We could also do it over here on the input. Right click it and go down here to the track recording settings. If we choose this, it opens up this dialog where we could input quantize, which means quantizing on the way in. Now, I want to remind you if we do it this way, and use this feature, you can't undo it later. As with the old method, you could always tweak the quantizing after the fact if you don't like it. But with this method, you can't. It's permanent. So keep that in mind. But it's still very useful if you know you want it. Like in this situation, we're recording a drum machine. So we go over here to quantize track, MIDI recording, and then choose the value. For this, I'm going to choose eighth notes. We could choose the positioning, nearest value, previous, or next. For most situations, we'll use nearest value. Then we could choose the strength and also our swing, which for this, I don't need it. We could choose to quantize within a certain percentage, but for this, I want it perfectly on the grid, and that grid will be eighth notes. So now we can close this, and if we right click this again, you see down over here, there's a check mark next to this setting, letting us know that we're using input quantize. We could also see it over here, the check mark, or if you look over here in the input, it shows up, quantize eighth notes. If it was turned off, our input looks like this. But when it's turned on, it changes to reflect input quantize. So now if we record that same part, it's going to quantize on the way in. So let's give it a shot. Again, it was pretty sloppy. But now, if we double click it, it should be perfect without doing anything.
Perfect. So again, it saves us that extra step. Let's try the same thing with a piano part. Let's make a new track under here by right clicking. I'm going to insert a track from my template. I saved one down here for piano, which opens up this track that already has a piano on there. Piano one. Let's go into record on that track. Let's hear that piano. So now to record that track with input quantize already on. Once again, we'll right click it right over here. Go to track recording settings. Once again, we can quantize it right here, which is input quantize. Let's change the value to 16th notes because the part I'm recording has 16th notes. Let's also choose to quantize note offs. That's going to quantize when you stop playing or let go of the keys. So it should make this part even more perfect. So once again, if you look over here, it shows up as quantizing to 16th notes. Let's record a part. Once again, that was pretty sloppy, but because we quantized it on the way in using input quantize, it should be perfect. So let's double click it to edit it, and let's hear it back. Once again, it's perfect. It's right on the grid, and we didn't have to do anything after the fact. It's already quantized as we played it. But again, keep in mind, we can't undo this. It's a very destructive process, but if you know you want to quantize things on the way in, definitely check out Input Quantize. So that's pretty much it. That's Input Quantize in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.